Not sure if you can quite see that, but uh, change your filter, folks. This one went a little long. You're supposed to change your filter every three months. This was probably four, maybe five months. So got a little, little too dirty. A little too dirty for my liking, but uh, we got her done. Snow is coming tomorrow. Whew. messing around with some lighting new lighting in the shed new lighting in the shed sorry if I'm a little off okay building a stronger foundation running and racing in 2017 was actually a little unexpected I was not even running at all one year ago and then I uh, well I did the YouTube athletic competition thank you fellas and I signed up for a race in Buena Vista go check that out uh, but during that race, about 15 miles into a 25 mile trail race, I told myself, I don't know if I ever want to do this again, because this hurts and this is not fun. And I pledged to myself that I was not going to do another race out of shape ever again. Uh, cause it's just like, it hurts and like I'm competitive and I want to beat people. Uh, and that's why I was so mad two days ago when I got lost on the course, cause I wanted to win and I was in first place by two minutes. Ugh. Anyway, what I'm getting at is I want to build a stronger foundation for 2018 running. I, uh, uh, see, I'm a little sore right now because my body is hurting a little bit from all the running I've done in the last six months. Uh, basically, to prevent injury moving forward, I topped out at 70 miles a week this year, about a month ago, getting ready for the Blue Sky Marathon. And remember, my leg injury popped up. And so to prevent injury moving forward, I need to stretch more. I need to do more strengthening of my core and my legs. And um, I got the massaging down pretty well and the ice bath and the, the, the Epsom salt bath. But I need to do more stretching and strengthening. So. As I transition into more training in 2008, you know, I'm going to take it easy now for the next, you know, month and a half. I might jump in a turkey trot. Who knows? We'll see. But the real training will start in January. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update. It's important if you're out there and you're a runner. Um, don't just run, even though that's kind of what I've been doing. Like if you really want to be healthy and strong and stay, you know, injury free, it really helps to... Uh, stretch and to build your core up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I realized, did I actually explain to you what I mean by build a stronger foundation? If your, if your toes are healthy, if your arches on your feet are healthy, if the tendons in your, you know, ankle are healthy and strong, if your Achilles is strong, that's your foundation. That leads to a strong calf, a strong, and I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but like you're building from the ground up strength and you know um, agility, but like uh, flexibility so that you can go run more. So that's kind of what I mean by the title of the vlog today, building a strong foundation. Let me think for a second. Oh, if you like to garden, if you have a great garden in your backyard where you grow great vegetables, it all starts with the soil, right? Got to have good soil. That's the foundation for a great garden. Whew. Give a shout out. By the way, I didn't even recognize this. A shout out to Andrew over in the UK. You know Andrew. He's been a longtime viewer. And Andrew pointed out to me yesterday that I we hit 600 subscribers. So thank you. So to all the new subscribers, uh, thanks for coming on board. And just so you know, we give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. The most thought out, funny, interesting comment in the previous seven days. And this week, it goes out to Colin Bloodworth. Colin, I love your last name. It must be English. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there. Just saying. Just saying. Colin is a fellow YouTuber up in the great Northwest, and he does great videos. I think he's a big soccer fan. Um, anyway, Colin, thank you. He wrote... And this is in connection to the vlog that talked about the ideal vlog length. He said, Seth James Damore, absolutely, my dude. 
I wish I made the rounds to everyone I enjoy watching more. It makes me feel oddly bad to only watch creators I really like only two to three times per week. You know, being the change you want to see and all that. Your grind is to be respected. I wish I could keep up my own schedule, much less yours, and to keep the quality consistently so high. Well done, man. Colin, thank you, sir. I mean, just for recognizing that I'm trying, you know, not perfect, but I'm trying. Like today's vlog, I would put in the simple category, meaning didn't have much time because of work, and just uh, grinding, trying to build a foundation for the future. Um, so, Colin, thank you for the comment for chiming in. Hey, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow, and uh, it's supposed to snow tomorrow here in Denver, just a little bit, so that's kind of exciting.